Hey everyone, what is up? This is Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this super clip, I'm going to talk to you all about confidence and why it is so important that you exude confidence during your testing. But before I start, as always, I want to remind you to smash that subscribe button, kick the like button in this video and all of my other videos, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. So what is confidence and why is it so important for you to exude during testing? I think that we probably already know the definition of confidence, but I'm just going to refresh your memory, okay? Confidence is basically a feeling of truth um, or a firm belief in yourself or others. Now, keeping that definition in mind, I want you to think back to the time to when you first began to learn your multiplication tables. Yeah, I know for some of us it seems like centuries ago, right? Okay, um, but if you think about your multiplication tables, you, you'll probably remember your teacher having you and your classmate recite and review over and over and over again those timetables until you had them memorized. Memorized to a point where you had a firm belief, you know, in yourself that you were confident enough to be able to uh, raise your hand whenever the teacher uh, called on volunteers or even maybe she or he called you out by name to come to the chalkboard and you know solve a multiplication problem right y'all remember those days right I do I do right um, but you you had the confidence because you recited and you reviewed with your teacher over and over and over again but that's the key reciting and reviewing uh, those are the two core principles of learning right you recite and you review you recite and you review the same holds true with your nurse aid training especially when it comes to the hands-on skills so you want to recite those steps that are in your nurse aid candidate handbook over and over and over again and you also want to review the steps by actually uh, participating with hands-on practice okay over and over and over again until you have a belief of truth in yourself that you will be able to competently perform those skills during testing now when I say competent competence is basically just having the know-how okay having the know-how to do something or to perform something right confidence is not being perfect it is not um, you know perfecting a skill to where you um, you know when you're performing your robotic right that is not competence competence is just having the know-how right um, and so that is what the NAEs want from you that's what they expect the three C's okay so you need to remember these three C's remember it during training and remember it for testing competence confidence and communication that is what the NAE is expecting from you they're not expecting you to be perfect they're not expecting you to be robotic they want to see you giving care or providing care in a natural manner, right? As if you were in an actual hospital or nursing home uh, providing care to a resident client or patient. That's what they want to see. And that's why confidence, or you exuding confidence during your testing is extremely important, right? Because I'm gonna tell you, and I got this directly from a nurse aide examiner that I network with, okay? from the horse's mouth. Um, when, a, when a nurse aide candidate enters into the testing room, and not so much you know the written portion of the CEP, but the skills portion of the CEP, when you enter into that room, that NAE is already uh, 
observing you, okay? They, they began observing you when they walked into the waiting room and called your names, okay? They already start observing you, and what they're looking at is to see whether or not you are exuding confidence, right? Even if you're nervous, being nervous is, is natural, it's normal, right? Because you're, you know, you're testing. Um, but being overly nervous is what will kill you um, on the, uh, on your exam. If you exude confidence, okay, from the very, from the start, as soon as that NAE uh, tells you your time starts now, um, and you go directly to that live person, um, you know, you're speaking uh, loud, you're, um, you're, you know, communicating with confidence, that NAE is going to back up off of you a little bit, okay? They're gonna back up off of you. And then throughout your testing, if you continue to exude that same level of confidence, they're gonna back up off you even a little bit more, right? Because now they, with your confidence, they are, um, you know, thinking or they're knowing that not only are you confident, you're competent, right? Because the only way you can be confident and have, uh, you know, a feeling of truth or a firm belief in yourself is if you're competent in the skill, right? Are y'all feeling me? Are you feeling me? So that's why it's very important. Now, if you come, if you come into the testing site or this, you know, the skills lab area and you're acting all nervous and you know, you're, you're stumbling around, especially when you're going to gather your supplies or, um, you know, you hesitate once too often during the skill, that NAE is gonna walk up, like I'm walking up right now, right? It's gonna walk up a little bit closer on you because now, because you're not exuding confidence, you, um, they're feeling like, you know, you may not be competent in the skill. So they want to be right up on you to make sure that you're performing steps correctly and you are not omitting steps, okay? So they're going to be even more focused on what you're doing and what you are not doing, okay? So that's why confidence is so, so important. I know you're going to be nervous. I do. I know you're going to be nervous. But if you recite and review over and over and over again during training, not only your, your knowledge information, but also your hands-on skills, you are going to become confident. And that little bit of nervousness that you have is gonna go away because confidence is gonna knock it, it's gonna knock it off its block, okay? So, remember the three C's. Competence, confidence, and communication. Those are the three C's that the nurse aid examiner or evaluator or observer, whatever you want to call them, um, is looking for. Okay, again, they're not looking for perfection. Okay, they're not looking for that. Um, we're all human. Uh, they know that, you know, mistakes may be made. Um, but they also want you to be able to recognize when you have made a mistake. And you're only going to be able to recognize that if you are competent, if you are confident, and if you are communicating every single thing that you are doing, okay? So confidence, confidence, a feeling of truth or firm belief in yourself and others. Remember when you first began to learn those multiplication tables and what your teacher had you and your classmates do, okay? Recite and review over and over and over and over again. So if you are still participating in your nurse aid training program, um, start doing that, okay? Uh, one skill at a time, one skill at a time. Recite those steps over and over and over again and review those steps manually, meaning hands-on, okay? Confidence is a key element in you passing your state certification exam the very first time around. So please keep in mind and remember the three C's, competence, confidence, and communication, okay? That is what the NAEs are looking for.
and that is what they expect of the nurse aide candidate. Hey guys, I hope this super clip was helpful to you. Um, you know what, I'm enjoying doing these super clips. I really do because it gives you a little bit more uh, in-depth or closer look to certain steps or certain information. And um, If you are liking these super clips, please leave a comment below. Uh, hit the thumbs up for me uh, to let me know, okay? Um, so I'm going to get ready to go. And I hope you all have a wonderfully blessed day and evening. Um, but before I leave, as always, as I do in the beginning, uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, especially if you are a new visitor to my channel. Kick the like button on this video and all of my other videos. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. Visit my Etsy storefront at www.etsy.com slash shop slash smash fads. I am so happy to say that uh, my Smash That CNA exam textbook, uh, the press release is scheduled for Monday. I believe that is June 17th. Um, I am going to take that book off of Etsy once it gets uh, the press release is done. Um, and then periodically I will, you know, put it back up on the listing, uh, you know, when I have specials or when I'm marketing it. But if you want to purchase it, there's nine, uh, there's, yeah, nine available copies um, that remains on my Etsy storefront for $45. Free shipping, uh, free domestic shipping. And also um, I want to tell you that once it gets released, the publisher's price is going to be $75. Uh, so if I were you, I would run over to my Etsy storefront right now, www.etsy.com slash shop slash smash fast and go ahead and purchase a copy of the workbook for $45. You're saving $30 from uh, the published price, okay? Um, and also don't forget about my new channel, my second channel, uh, for nurse aid instructors, um, how, you know, is focusing on nurse aid instructors, but it's going to be information that will be helpful to you, the nurse aid student and candidate. Um, all you have to do when you get into YouTube is to type in Julie Reynolds nurse aid instructors um, or Julie Reynolds nurse aid training or nurse aid instructor training. Um, and my channel should be the second channel to pop up. Okay. So, Continue to have a feeling of truth and a firm belief in yourself, okay? That is confidence, and that is what you need to exude during testing.